There are many things about leadership that we do not know. However, there are a few truths about which we can be sure. One of the most important is that leadership is always about a group, not the leader. The group may be a sports team or a congregation, a youth group or a nation. A leader's task is to help the group for whom you are the leader take their next faithful step. Today, some propose a model of leadership that puts the leader at the center of everything. In this view, the vision for the group is a gift from God that comes to the leader, who then casts the vision and solicits others to implement it. A more appropriate view, in my opinion, is to see vision as a gift from God given to the group. It may be first named by a leader or leaders. The distinction is critical. This view assumes that God's wisdom is found throughout the faith community and not lodged in any one person. It also recognizes that a leader often has access to more information, spends more time thinking and praying about the vision, and has more opportunities to test out ideas than others in the group. Good leaders listen well, and they often can discern rather than simply receive God's vision. But in the church, there is another step needed. Church leadership has no meaning apart from the wider community it is called to serve. One of the hallmarks of emerging views of leadership which draws from a range of cultural traditions, is a renewed linking of leadership to the broader community. What if those with whom we work as leaders came to see us as caring most about them? And what if our surrounding communities knew that our churches genuinely cared for them? 